how to scrape phone numbers on Google Maps. Indeed, on Google Maps, companies are able to write their phone numbers down. Therefore, it's a piece of information we can retrieve by doing a basic Google Maps search with a job and a location. In this tutorial, we will try to keep things as simple as possible. No technical knowledge required and we will see what we can end up with. As an example, we are going to scrape restaurants in New York City. And the first tool we are going to try out is called Bardin. The promise of Bardin is to automate manual work. Actually, it is a Chrome extension. So all you need to do is to add this extension. Then you will be able to create your account. Once it is done, we will have to explore it and to build a scraper. Actually, we don't have to build it. We can use a pre-made script instead. So let's click on scrapers and we can search a specific data scraper, like something related to Google Maps. And we've got a couple of them. Let's try the simplest one. We've got something which allow us to search results from the currently opened Google Maps page. So I've got my opened tab here. It should work out. I click on get, I click on try it. Then I need to input the number of items I want to retrieve. To make sure I have enough, I scroll down to the bottom of the page because Google Maps currently works as an infinite scrolling page. I think I have enough items now. So let's say I want to get the first 30 elements. So I type 30. I can save to my playbooks and run. To explain what a playbook is, it's a kind of setup which will be saved. So something you can use it afterwards without entering new inputs every time. I click on save to my playbooks and run. I can give the playbook a name. I click on save. And the last thing I will have to do is to insert a URL as a starting point. Actually, I can insert a URL or a tab. It should do the job. I click on it and I've got 30 words pretty quickly. I can click on view 27 more words and we've got 30 words, it's correct. I've got the name of the company, the ratings, the reviews, the type, the location, and the URL of the Google Maps detail page. And that's it. So there are a couple of problems though. And the first one is that we don't have any phone numbers, which is an issue in itself. And secondly, if we take a look more closely, we only have access to information regarding the listing page but we don't have access to additional pieces of data like phone numbers, websites, and so on. In other words, we will have to try something else. We will have to try another workflow. Finally, there is one last issue and it's that we cannot save this result. Indeed, we have the result, we get the result, but we cannot save it. We can save it on a Google spreadsheet. Let's do that. Let's come back to Bardin and let's use another scrapers. I created a new Google spreadsheet. I click on share and I make sure I will make it public. The process remains the same, Google Maps, but this time we will click on that one. We will save information from Google Maps search results to Google Sheets. I click on try it, wait. There is something I forgot to tell you. Before running our task, we have to connect our Google spreadsheet with Bardin. The process is pretty easy, yet I wanted to show you how to do it. If you click on try it, I have this pop-up. Fortunately, I don't need any APIs. What I suggest you is to click on settings, to click on connected apps, to search for Google Sheets, to click on Google Sheets, to choose an account, to click on select all, to click on save, et voila, now it is connected. 
Let's come back to the video. I need to specify my Google Sheets. I find it out. The number of results, let's say 30. Save to my playbox and run. Let's write another name. I click on save. Finally, I insert my tab. It's going to take a bit more time because we will have to visit each detailed page one by one. So I see you back once the extraction is finished. It seems the process is over. So let's take a look. We've got almost 30 data rows. Maybe I should have scrolled down to the bottom of the page more times. And we've got more interesting data fields like the website and the phone number. But as you can see, we don't directly get the phone numbers. We have it, but Google Sheet shows us that it's considered as an error. Indeed, it's considered as such because it's not really a number, but it's not really a text either. We've got a plus one, then a space, then three digits, then a special character, three digits, another special character. So it makes this thing really confusing. And to be honest, I didn't succeed in fixing this issue. So if you have any ideas, I would be glad to hear them and you can write your solution in the comments. Actually, there is a solution which is to write this character at the beginning of your cell. So it's not really something which can be automated in a way, I don't think so. It takes a bit of time, but as you can see, it does work. And we do that for all 25 cells. To sum up, I think we can directly get phone numbers from Google Maps using Bardin, but in that case, it might be better to customize our own scraper. However, I will no longer say that there is zero technical knowledge required. In a nutshell, Bardin is a really useful tool if you want to automate tasks you have done manually your entire life. But in the case of Google Maps, it doesn't really come in handy unless if you want to get a few items each time. I mean, it works out, but it takes more time than expected, particularly if you want to fix issues that you will ultimately find out. Moreover, what about if you want to scrape hundreds of leads or thousands of leads? In that case, you cannot really do it through Bardin. Or what about if you want to get a more accurate search? You can actually scrape restaurants from a small part of New York. On the other hand, if you want to scrape restaurants at a larger scale from an entire country, from an entire state, or even from an entire country, in that case, what would you do? Well, in that case, there is a more suitable solution, which is called Scrap.io. The promise of Scrap.io is to help you to turn Google Maps into a leads machine. You have access to a quick demo below if you want to have an overview of what you will end up with, but we will see that in more details in a few minutes. The first thing you have to do is to create an account if it's not already done. Then you will have access to your dashboard. I invite you to click on it and to pay attention to this tab because it's the most important one of the software. Here you will be able to retrieve all your leads based on your criteria. But what could be your criteria? The first one and the most obvious one is your activity. Actually, there are around 4,000 different categories listed on Google Maps. So if you want to have access to the full list, we'll let you a link in the description. As a consequence, I can allow myself to write a very accurate category. I might be looking for restaurants, of course, but as you can see, we have access to many different subtypes. I can select a Thai restaurant, maybe an Asian restaurant, a pizza restaurant. You get the idea. Then I can pick up a specific country. We don't have access to all countries in the world, but we have a few. Let's change it from France to United States, I can select a level one division, a level two division and a city. The last four criteria are location criteria. Level one division means a state. 
Level 2 division means a county and a city means a city. If we take the very same example as the last time, I type New York, I click on search and I will get real-time data of restaurants in New York City. And I've got around 6,000 results. But what about if I need to get more accurate data? As you can notice, some restaurants don't have email addresses. Some restaurants don't have websites. Some restaurants don't have any phone numbers. What about if I want to include or exclude some data rows? In that case, I can click on filter and we've got two different kind of filters. We've got essential and advanced filters. Let's take a look at some of them. Main activity only. What is its meaning? Let's take an example. A restaurant may not only be a restaurant. It can also be a cafe, it can also be a bar, it can also be something else, I don't know. In that case, if I click on yes, I will only be looking for restaurants as a main category and not as secondary categories. About companies with a website, with a phone number, with an email, with social media links. Now, what about advanced filters? Google Maps listed claimed. It simply means that companies are aware that they are listed on Google Maps. In other words, they at least pay some attention to their SEO. They are willing to find opportunities to target a broader audience. We can also filter based on the price range, on the rating, on the number of reviews, the number of pictures. Finally, we can target companies with a contact form on the website, in which case it means that the company obviously already has got a website. We can also filter based on ad pixels, but I will explain it further in a minute. Once I've set up everything I need, I can click on filter and I will get fewer results, but much more targeted ones. If I'm happy with my results, I can click on export. I can click on advanced options, create an automatic export name. And if I want to get the first 30 rows, I type 30. Here are indicated all the data fields I'm about to retrieve. Then I click on export. I'm now located within the My Exports tab. Once the process is over, I will be able to download my results in a CSV or Excel file. All I need to do is to wait for a little bit and I will see you back once I've got my Excel file. Let's have a look. We've got 30 data rows. We start with the company's name, the description, which is shown in some detailed pages. Actually, we've got multiple descriptions, whether the restaurant is closed or not, what we have been talking about, the main types and all types, website, the phone number, do we have all phone numbers? We do. The full address, which is divided into different subtypes, the longitude and the latitude, the link of the Google Maps detail page, the email address. Do we have access to all email addresses? We do. Social media links. First seen on. When do we have seen this detail page the first time? It can give you an overall idea whether the company is new or not. Price range review counts, review rating, review per score. So 20 people gave a one star rating and 189 people gave a five stars rating. Number of pictures, URLs of some pictures, occupancy, which is different from opening hours. Occupancy is related to this bar chart. Whether companies have been claimed on Google Maps, working hours, characteristics, which is something you can find if you click the About tab. SEO characteristics, if the company has got a website, of course. Website title, keyword, description. Additional email addresses, if needed. Additional contact pages. Additional social media links, if available. And we end up with website technologies and website ad pixels. As an example, we can see that this company used WordPress to create their website and that that one spent a bit of budget using Facebook ads. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. 
If it's the case, you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments or directly contact our customer support. See you next time.